I vowed never to be in a competition again. It was so terrifying. So <laughs> I quite enjoyed the challenge of them. And um, I plotted my course to world domination from when I started at music college. It has sort of just moved me up several notches, I'd say. Five grand, you know. It took a long time to become philosophical about it. <laughs> <laughs> they always tell me afterwards that the process of going through the competition, going through the various rounds, even if they're knocked out, uh, is worthwhile. So, what role have competitions played in your own career? Anderson? Well, a big role, and I mean, they're very, very important for young singers to put yourself on the map. I mean, of course, there's always a financial incentive. Um, like when I won the Leader Prize at Cardiff Singer of the World, the Rosenblatt Recital Prize, I won £5,000. And of course, immediately you think, oh, great, five grand, you know, because you're a young, probably student at the time. But in the long term, of course, the kudos that winning a competition as a young singer brings to you and the exposure you get from it, that's the real the benefit real of winning competitions. Yeah. And self-confidence too. Of course, The sense yeah. that you're going along the right lines. Yeah. I've done quite a few. I've done about five in my time, uh, year after year, from sort of 2001 onwards. And I finished with Cardiff and... Uh, uh, it went well, but I vowed never to be in a competition again. It was so terrifying. <laughs> so, is it a rite of passage? Do you feel you have a sort of competition zone as a young singer? I think so. I think it's a very important part of uh, being a young singer because it, 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 it develops you and it, it's a very quick way of uh, establishing you as a, as, a, as a performing artist in front of a public. Um, and it's a very quick way of getting up the ladder, if, if you do well particularly. Well, effectively, it has sort of just moved me up several notches, I'd say. Um, it's really sort of moved me into into the professional sphere slightly earlier than than I expected to to be moving into that 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 sort of area. So it's been fantastic, really. Um, I think one of the biggest um, pluses that it's been has actually been introducing me to um, a number of agents who sort of came to that competition. Uh, one of which I've now sat, I've now signed signed with. So it's been well. Great. It's a wonderful shop window. In terms of a competition, of course, um, winning is not the important thing. Uh, it's the preparation, it's encouraging young singers to uh, put the effort in, put a special effort in, to prepare for a very knowledgeable audience, yeah. an experienced jury, and, and then to get feedback. Yeah. And a lot of these singers could be working in isolation all over the world. Yeah. They come here for a week, uh, they get to meet each other, they get to listen to each other. Uh, and that in itself is a very valuable process. They always tell me afterwards that the process of going through the competition, going through the various rounds, even if they're knocked out, uh, is worthwhile. Well, you're also very careful that it's not winner-take-all in the sense that the people who are eliminated from the later rounds also, they, they do get feedback from the jury. Yes, and, and it's, it's very candid, uh, but it's very useful. And. Uh, Competitors. Candid, candid sounds, sounds as if you, you've had blood in the carpet in the past. <laughs> Not everyone's been able to take it? or um, Well, we all, we're all different personalities. And, and how we absorb um, criticism, uh, however well meant, yeah. um, is down to the individual. Um, but if you take it in the spirit that it's given, I think that, that it, it, there's nothing more valuable, really. Well, if you want to grow as a young artist, you have, yeah. to, be, you have to be open to it. Absolutely. Same as a manager. <laughs> you, 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 in any career, yeah. you've got to be able to take criticism. Yeah. And um, we all learn from life, we all learn from, from experience. Yeah. And a competition, uh, particularly a major international competition, um, if you've prepared well, and if you take it in the spirit that it's meant, is, is a major life experience for, for a young artist. And not just for the singer, but also for the pianist. Of course. No, I think that's, a, that's absolutely true. Liz, competitions have been a big part of your career in getting you going. Yes. Are they a necessary evil? I think possibly they are. Um, I quite enjoyed the challenge of them. And um, I plotted my course to world domination from when I started at music college. Um, I, uh, I went to see the Ferrier and see how it worked and how the competition worked and what sort of things people were singing and what made a good singer and all those kind of things So when I first started music college. So I think they, they do help your career and you can learn an awful lot from going to them as well. Did you get positive experiences ever from not winning competitions? Of course. Um, I think the thing you have to learn in music is, 
if you are a musician, if you are anybody with anything to say, not everybody's going to agree with your interpretation. Not everybody is going to uh, agree with uh, what you have to say about a piece. So um, losing a competition, if there is a, a jury of one, three, five, seven, however many people, it's possible that uh, that they just don't particularly get you. But the other and thousand how, people in the room may, you know. Indeed. And how did you deal with that in terms of rejection issues? <laughs> did, were you well, able to dust yourself down after that? It took a long time to become philosophical about <laughs> it. <laughs> it hurts like hell, of course it does. At the beginning, you want everybody to love you. And I still want everybody to love my, to love what I do. It, it's, it's a human thing, you know, you want to go out there and give the, your your best, give your best interpretation and try and put, o put over what it is that you feel you have this drive to say. But, um, after a while, you just have to realize that um, you can lead all of your horses to water, but only some of them will drink. You know, it's, it's, it, it is an incredibly subjective field, art in all its aspects. And not everybody is going to get what you do. All you can do is try and make what you do as honest, as technically competent, and as interesting as possible. And then hopefully the right people will listen.